running away from me and I am trying to herd them like cats. My thoughts are like cats. kind of thinking lately about hustle culture. People talking about self-care, about self-preservation. Every individual person is sort of like told that you have to take care of yourself and that's it and you cannot look outside. And while I really appreciate the sentiment of you have to put on your own oxygen mask before you can possibly help someone else because if you faint then you can't help anyone else within your own dream. What if the goal was to serve others? So for example, let's say you wanted to be a rock star, or let's say you wanted to be a YouTuber. A lot of people get into YouTube wanting to make it big, wanting to get all that sponsorship money and get all the fame and the likes and the followers. But what if your goal was to just help people? And that's essentially why jobs exist. There are things that need to be done to provide services. The reason that I wanted to discuss this is because it seems like all other roads, all other motivations have a dead end. So let's say you're getting into your job because you wanna make a ton of money. And my question is, how much money is enough? It seems almost to me like an insatiable drive for something that can't really be caught. And after you have so much money, what does one person do with that money? And then that famous story comes to mind of everyone down in hell with like long forks and they're at a huge banquet. And because the forks are so long, they can't feed themselves. So they're just in agony, you know, they starve to death. And the people in the story could have just with their long forks fed other people. And you know, that mentality of, oh, I just wanna make money just to make money, just to be rich. Isn't that how the billionaires like Jeff Bezos isn't that how he probably started out? When you see those videos on Instagram of how to resell stuff that you've bought at a thrift shop online for like way higher prices, how is the outcome of that, you know, to become a rich person, how is that different than Jeff Bezos? It seems kind of selfish. And you know, I'm willing to admit, I'm totally willing to admit that I'm missing something. I don't know. I could just be calling myself out to be honest. 